Together Two Hearts from Auckland, New Zealand. It's been four years since we performed live in Melbourne. And I suppose you want a little update on how our lives are going? Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, in December, Laura and I actually became married. Thank you, thank you. Um, but don't worry, that doesn't mean we've become one of those boring married couples. You know, this just simply means that Joseph and I are now taking our offstage relationship a little bit more seriously. <laughs> For example, when I have a threesome, I now invite Joseph. <laughs> I always say no, but it's nice to be asked. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, fun fact, we have actually been a duo longer than we have been a couple. So what you are looking at is a bona fide workplace relationship. Yeah, Joseph fucked his boss. <laughs> it's more of a kind of 50-50 co-shareholder scenario. But, no, know. I had to report him to HR. And then he fucked HR. <laughs> I'm also HR. <laughs> We did try to keep things strictly professional and platonic for as long as possible. Yeah, but then we got drunk at the Two Hearts Christmas party and there wasn't any other options. <laughs> We're not allowed back at Holy Moly. <laughs> well, we are allowed back in, in Melbourne City and it's so good to be here. And Laura, do you know what time it is? Oh, I don't know, Joseph. Is a bad bitch o'clock? No. No, oh. it's, it's not a real time. <laughs> well, then it must be thick 30. Like, you know it's not Thick 30 because you had an osteo appointment earlier today at Thick 45. Oh, is it called it a sleigh? No. Laura, you know what time it is. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Joseph. I'm still on New Zealand time. <laughs> How could I forget? It's... Wine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, make some noise if you like drinking a lovely wine. Oh, love a cheeky vino. We love a cheeky vino. Laura, why don't you tell them what your favourite type of wine is? Both. There are two colours. As you can tell, we know our wine. Red and white. Thank you, Laura. And you can get it in glass or cardboard. <laughs> Let's not alienate some of the non-wine drinkers in the room with our extensive knowledge, Laura. Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, Joseph and I, we recently went on a, a wine tour in the south of France, and we bought some wine with some pretty interesting notes. Yeah, they don't need to hear this. The notes were euros. I think it's safe to say that we are a couple of wine aficionados, which is why we have actually written a song for all of the wine connoisseurs. And Connor Dames. Use inclusive language, Joseph. I'm listening, I'm learning. Hit the track. Picture, if you will, a vineyard setting. Because that's where the song is set. Yo, I was at a vineyard on a pleasant day Sipping on Pinot Noir and Cabernet When I walked up to the vintner and I said Okie dokie, do you have a shot of hay? I'd like to try something oaky That's when the vintner said So damn sad Red and white wine don't mix stick with wine what? You want a shot of hay? Well, he my one And if you're mixing up your wines, you'll regret it in the morning I laughed and I said, man, I know what I'm doing Therefore, the white wine I will be pursuing
Lovely rose, I think I'm onto something Got the sommelier looking at my belly button Sitting at me asking me, buddy, what's happening? I'm just a fella with a cellar in my abdomen Shut up inside of me and I ain't talking sex play Wanna see the tennis and you gotta get it this way Keep my wine warm, skin like a duvet Body looking curvy cause my well, tummy is a duvet, duvet. Thank you. Let me do hearts. We'll catch you later.